So first of all, uh, Drupal. We are going to install the Drupal 7. Drupal is the one of the content management software. In that software, you are going to use. Using the software, you can create your website by your own. So uh, in that uh, Drupal 7, you are going to uh, use the Drupal 7 once. So this is the one of the site for Drupal. So this is the one of the sample theme. So now we are going to install the Drupal and then we are going to install the module and whichever the theme suitable for you, you can download it from Google. So you can type it Drupal themes, the name, this is the name for Drupal theme, professional theme. You can download professional 7 theme for Drupal 7. In that Google, you can get a rare folder. I will, I will tell you the how to install the theme and how to install the different modules in Drupal. So you can change everything. You can change the you can lo your logo here, your name here. You can create a menu. So in that simple way, without coding, you can able to create. If you are knowing the coding, you can well be changing the theme also. So now uh, you are going to uh, see uh, first download the Drupal 7 in Google. Just type it in your browser Drupal 7 download. It will redirect a Google page and some other Drupal pages. You can download Drupal 7 in a win zip folder or rare folder. Once you can download that, copy that zip or rare folder into C colon. So before that, check whether your PC is installed WAMP server or not. If not, download the WAMP server from Google and install it. Then run that WAMP server then you can start proceeding the Drupal 7 installation now if your uh, PC is installed uh, WAMP server so here uh, is a WAMP uh, the WAMP folder is available here you can open the so this is the WAMP server I installed previously so you can download and install in the tutorial also available the WAMP server tutorial if you want you can refer the tutorial and then once you double click that icon they can in that place it, it will appear the green color in that uh, icon WAMP server icon the WAMP server is in different three colors orange red and green the green it will indicate the server in online it will run uh, it is uh, started the all the process of Apache MySQL PHP everything is started then put online if not you can put in that is in red condition you can put online it will come up the green color and then check whether your apache is started your MySQL my sql is started if not you can check test port double click it will showing apache is taking our uh, port actually it's using so you can press enter and exit so so vamp server now is running perfectly you can continue the procedure of uh, proceeding with installing the drupal first of all creating the database so just open the icon and then php my admin so in that you can create the mysql database for your drupal website so in that uh, database you can create it in the two way so this is the php my admin so this is the database you can create a new database you can give in your name database name new database name now we are going to create the new database name like a web tutor this is the one of the way or else uh, then click on the create button or else you can create you can uh, using that command prone you can log into the mysql shell and then create the database this is the one of the you can do so you can type it cmd and it will appear then you can log in mysql username and password then show the database and create the new database so type it mysql so mysql you mysql minus u root i don't have the password so now the, this mysql error it will appear you are logged in with the mysql and then show databases it will show the previously installed databases these are the pre previous installed databases so now web tutor is not available so create the database so this is the command to create a new database create database 
and then database name here you can type your own database name web tutor I'm going to use the web install Drupal 7 web tutor is my database name so query ok one row affected so it successfully database is created again you can using the same command show database so the database will appear here and then exit so and then uh, you can check it then proceeding the Drupal installations you can go on to c colon my computer c colon and then uh, vamp server in the www folder this is the local host this is the folder for local host our local host server triple w you can what you can previous you previously download the drupal 7 right then that copy that same folder drupal 7 folder into that triple w folder so so this is the drupal 7 rare folder you can extract the first right click extract here yeah now it's drupal 7 so you can you if you want your uh, website name you can rename it instead of install instead of drupal you can rename it your name okay again these are the files and folders containing in Drupal this file is essential for to running this Drupal don't change it just rename that Drupal folder name into your uh, website name so now the name is changed I give on the name is web tutor so after that uh, open that folder so now the name was changed then uh, uh, then I can again go to Google so now you can open your browser then you can uh, localhost Drupal installation PPC so type this your our triple double instead of his localhost so this is our folder name so we are given since we are renamed already drupal into web tutor slash install.php this file is redirected to installation just enter this and type it and give an enter yeah local host web tutor now it will redirect to drupal installation so this is this first step for Drupal installations so these are the steps choose profile choose language verify requirements set up database install profile change configure site and finish so just you can available the two option minimal option it will only the few models are only enabled you can go for standard just save and continue just click on the save and continue then you are choosing your language this is for you can choose your whichever the language you want so if you want the other languages you can learn how to install the Drupal and other languages just give on the name you are we are previously created mysql database right web tutor is our mysql database name if the database name is available or not, you can check it with PSP my, PHP my admin or you can check with command prom also. Database username is root. We don't have the password. This is for MySQL database. You, if you want to create a database in SQL or some other database, you can create that. You can choose the SQL option. And then don't enter anything. If you are setting the VAMP server MySQL password, you can give your password or else don't need that, that password just enter go for php my admin check whether the database name is available or not so web tutor is available here so okay we are given the same name so no problem if not you can create the database name in that new you can create your new database then save and continue So it will uh, take some time for installing the modules, default models and all. It will take the few minutes.
so then our site name is local host we just given your mail address if you have one domain email address you can give it your mail address this is the username for while login just don't forget the name and then given your password You can choose your country, you can choose your uh, date and time settings, save and continue. So then you are, if you are finishing all these requirements, all are shown in green color. If, if showing any error in this installation procedure, you can kind of solve the error. So now the main error is coming with the Drupal database. Other than that, the no error will not come. You can properly place that folder into www folder. That's enough. Then we are going to visit our site. I'll verify all the installations then go for visiting our new site so now this is the Drupal site was created successfully welcome to local was to local list our name so if you know it is in logout login condition so now you are log out and enter your username and password check whether you are installed correctly or not came that is my username and my password Yeah, now again also record this. So, so now you are installed and Drupal is successful. Thank you.